Heavenly Father, I will cry out to God Most High, to God who performs all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me. He reproaches the one who would swallow me up. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods I will sing praises to you. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. For you, Lord, are the great God, the great King above all gods. I will worship toward your holy temple, and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you I will worship toward your holy temple. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. He has done exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. In the day when I cried out, you answered me, and made me bold with strength in my soul. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. Yes, they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Yes, all kings shall fall down before you, all nations shall serve you. The nations shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness, and shall sing of your righteousness. Though the Lord is on high, yet he regards the lowly, but the proud he knows from afar. The Lord is high above all nations, his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who dwells on high, who humbles himself to behold the things that are in the heavens and in the earth? The Lord is righteous, he loves righteousness, his countenance beholds the upright. You, Lord, resist the proud, but give grace to the humble. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. Now I know the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. Yes, he who has begun a good work in us will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. We lay our lives at your feet and adore you with our whole hearts. In your good and gracious name, Lord Jesus. Amen.